Hey guys, coming to you live from Papa Kona today. We don't have Rachel with us. She caught a case of the whiskey virus, I think. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to struggle through this all by myself. Uh, Pop going up Tuesday, Thursday, making drinks. What we're going to do today is do a whole bunch of different little shot recipes that are easy and replicable for you to do at home. No, no hard stuff today, no fancy stuff. I tried to pick some shots that have crossed over ingredients. So you can actually make a few different shots with only a few different ingredients. First up, I'm going to go ahead and do, it's an old little classic, thank you Ryan for reminding me of this. The surfer on acid. Ounce of Jaeger. Ounce of coconut rum. Once again, we've used this one before. I prefer Rum Haven because it's a naturally infused rum as opposed to a lot of the other syrupy sugar ones out there. Ounce of that as well. And one ounce of pineapple juice. It's a three ounce shot. It's going to be about three and a half ounces by the time you put a little ice in there and chill it. Now you notice that was one ounce each. What that means, you can make it any size you want. You can make a pitcher of these as long as it's equal parts. That's a surf around acid. Most of the drinks I'm doing today, I've tried to make to where they have all the same ratio. Less things to remember and easily replicable and make it for party sizes. If you do happen to have one of those households that has like seven people in it, of course. Otherwise, stay home, stay alone. <laughs> Next one up. Uh, I'm not going to use the name for this one. Uh, it's a red-headed lady of questionable morals. We're going to go with that. Um, yeah, yeah, you can just Google redheaded shot and yeah, Google will tell you the things that I can't say. Once again, one ounce of Jaeger. Any type of peach schnapps, this particular one is peach tree, I like the Kuiper. Not a whole lot of difference between all of them. And one ounce of cranberry juice. Again, one ounce each, three ounces, three and a half by the time you dilute it. Make a pitcher. You can make three pitchers. Do whatever you want to do. It's quarantine, nobody's judging. Doesn't have to be a crazy shake or anything. All these shots, you're just chilling them a little bit. Once again, redheaded lady of questionable morals. same drink. Uh, that one is a little different name. It's not red with the cranberry. We call that a Tiffany. Uh, but it is delicious as well. Uh, next one up, Washington Apple. One ounce Crown Royal. Most shots you can go ahead and sub out any different type of whiskey or this or that if it calls for whiskey. This particular one is brand specific. One ounce, half a bucket, and one ounce cranberry juice. Again, one ounce, all three. And for those of you out there that are saying I'm not really a whiskey drinker, trust me, you have no idea this one's whiskey. It is one of the smoothest shots out there. It's an apple. What are we going to do with all these since Rachel's not here? I don't know. This could get ugly. <laughs> do not count on a matinee show today. <laughs> Next one up. I'm going to use that Crown Royal again. Like I said, try to kind of do multiple drinks with the same ingredients. Back to that same peach that we used in the questionable lady beverage. And we're going to use that same pineapple that we used in the surfer on acid. Once again, one ounce, all three equal parts. 
This one is called the water box system. Again, don't have to over chill it. If you do make these in advance and make up pictures of them, don't put the ice in. Just leave them in the fridge. Even in the fridge, that ice will dilute and dilute down the drink. You can enjoy them as a cocktail if you like. Just switch the, the, the juices to one, maybe three ounces of each. Enjoy the cocktail a little ice. Uh, next shot up, it's gonna be a little bit different one. B52. I'm gonna go ahead and layer this one. I'm not measuring, I'm just doing roughly thirds. First ingredient on the bottom there is Kahlua. Any spoon you got will work. Just control your pour, just do a little slow drizzle over the top. We're gonna layer some Baileys over the top or McCormick or whatever Irish cream you got around. Top layer, Grand Marnier. Actually one of the favorite shots, one of my favorite people. Tanya, I wish you were here to drink it. Sorry. But we got one waiting for you whenever the heck we can all reopen. Last shot. We go ahead and mix up a couple different ingredients in this one. This one is actually called a Scooby Snack. Again, coconut rum. One ounce. Midori or whatever melon liqueur you have available, one ounce. Pineapple juice, one ounce as well. And I'm really gonna mess with your routine here because I'm adding a fourth ingredient. And it's not an ounce. It is, however, just a little splash of milk over the top. Sealed milk, apparently. Be right back. Again, not a full ounce. A little splash, you're just giving it a little bit of texture. It is an odd, odd sounding shot between coconut, melons, pineapple, and milk. Having said that, it is delicious. It's a Scooby snack for you. And that's what we got for today. Gonna, next time we do shots, we'll do a whole lot more citrus-based shots, a lot more lemon and lime, your traditional lemon drops and your kamikazes and your things like that. I just wanted to do some random liquor shots today that kind of paired well all together. So take them or leave them or uh, just stick to the seltzers. Up to you. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you Thursday.